Welcome back to part two of Don'ts here in Portugal, and we're just gonna jump right into it, okay? If you haven't watched part one, I will link this right now somewhere here on the screen, and you should watch that before continuing with this one, or you can do it either way. And the first don't that I have for you guys today is do not throw away your metro card, because you will be taking the metro at one point when you are in Lisbon. With this metro card, you can fill it up as much as you like when you have used all your trips and you need it to go in and out of the bus, the metro, the tram. So it's super convenient and it's gonna save you way more money and stress to keep the card instead of paying cash all the time. Don't expect to be able to buy these cards everywhere. They will just have it at some metros and they will not have it at the bus station for an instant. So keep them close by and just refill them whenever you feel like you need it to. Don't even bother to get the monthly card if you're staying here for a month. I do think it's more convenient to just get the refillable, the refillable ones, the ones you can refill. I think that's way more convenient. It's gonna save a lot of stress because as you've seen in this video, how much I struggled to get the monthly one. So just keep that in mind, keep your Metro card, don't throw it away, okay? The second don't is to assume that the tuk-tuks are typical Portuguese thing, because it's not. I did think so for over a month that tuk-tuks were such a Portuguese vibe because they're everywhere in Lisbon, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie. I kid you not, you will meet probably 50 in a day. But they're not Portuguese, they just arrived a few years ago and I was pretty shocked. If you would like to go, please go, but don't go because you think it's a Portuguese thing, because it's not. It's not. The number three. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Three of don'ts here in Portugal is with port wine, okay? Port wine is very famous here in, in Portugal and that's not weird because Porto is, is in Portugal so it kind of makes sense. But the port wine is an appetizer that you eat before or sometimes after your dinner. It's not a wine you have while eating dinner and I think that's very important to know. It's kind of like, you know, when you either drink coffee or take a shot after your meal to kind of like digest the food. That's the same with the wine. And the next don't on the list is coffee sizes yes you would be surprised coming to portugal realizing that a normal cup of coffee is like this size yeah it's not bigger it's this size it's super super tiny even though you go to a restaurant you will get the small cups if you go to mcdonald's it will literally be in a shot just keep that in mind when you're ordering because in um, a lot of countries coffee is kind of like a cozy drink you drink at a coffee shop here in portugal it's more like something you just take on a go to a rush and do something else get the coffin in your body and just like Wah! Yeah, so uh, when I ordered my first coffee was... This woman were too stunned to speak. You know what I mean? I was shocked because it was so small. So good thing to keep in mind if you want a cup of coffee, ask for a big size or something like that. And we're already on the last part, okay? And that is do not come to Portugal without eating pastel di nata. It's kind of like their national food by this point and everybody needs to try it. It's so yummy. And it's egg yolk mixed together in a pastry kind of form with some cinnamon on the top with your small cup of coffee and wow, you're just gonna be so Portuguese. It's super good, super nice, and it's a whole experience just eating it. I've never tasted something like this before, and I was surprised in a good way. So now that you watched all five don'ts to do in Portugal, and you watched part one, which makes it 10 don'ts to do in Portugal, you're pretty much ready to go. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you next Sunday with another video. And for now, take care.